caught me taking a drink in my soda. So I'm going to wait a little bit and have some people get on and uh, then we'll start our live feed. Uh, if the, if the uh, sound is not loud enough, I'm looking into a microphone that I can hook up to my phone so that the sound can be louder. Um, so let me know if the sound is kind of muffled a little bit. Um, for the sound to pick up, I have to be right up on it, and I really don't like to be right up on it. I can stand more back like this way, but I know it's hard to hear. So if you are watching and um, you're not a friend of mine, then it doesn't let me know who's watching unless you are my friend. So hi, Oz. I see you. <laughs> but if you're not a friend of mine, it doesn't let me know who's watching. So just get on here and say uh, where you're watching from, or you don't have to say anything at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, I just like to see where all people are watching from. Um, I'm not going to be in the shop Saturday. I have, my grandson has a football game, and I can't miss that. So um, it will be in Harrisburg. Watch the page, because if it's over early enough, I will go to the shop. So I might be in the shop about 3. I don't know. Just watch the page, and I'll post if I'm going to head to the shop. So I've got a bunch of new stuff coming in, and um, we have a booth now at the Cat's Meow in Harrisburg, and so I've taken a lot of stuff over there. It's kind of different stuff that I have in my shop, so if you don't really like the whole quirky, vintage vibe, um, the Cat's Meow is where I'm sending things to. I am looking around at some more uh, flea markets. I really don't want to say flea markets because, uh, I don't know, sometimes a flea market gets a bad rap. I really like uh, vintage shops or junk shops or something like that. Um, I am looking for uh, some more places to be in, so if you know of some really good ones, let me know. I do have my eye on a few that I'm going to call and see about. And then we've got some things coming. I think in a couple of weeks we're going to start opening on Friday. So that will allow people that do work on Saturday or that forget about the one day a week thing. That will um, maybe give them an extra opportunity to come shop. And um, then the next week, not this weekend, the next weekend, which is the 9th and 10th, I will be at Greer's Ferry for a show that will be on a Friday and Saturday. And we will see how that goes. So anyways, I'm glad the market's over with. The next market will be in the spring. And that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> so we'll get started. I got a bunch of junk um, that I need to get through. And I don't know where to start. So, I love this piece. So, and also, I'll post the thing, uh, question and answer during the live feed tonight. If you've got questions uh, you always wanted to ask, then you can ask me, and I'll try to be able to read it and answer the best I can. And one question I know everybody asks is, how do you not keep everything? Well, I do want to keep almost everything, but I don't hardly keep anything, believe it or not. Um, occasionally, I do, but... Not a lot. So I've got this enamel, I guess it's what you call it, green water jug, I guess what you want to call it. I'm not for sure what the correct terminology is, but it has this little spout on it. It's got this really pretty green color. It does not have any, it's got a bug in it, a dead bug, but it doesn't have any holes or anything in it, and um, it's really a cool piece, really cool piece, and it has a price on it somewhere. It's 40 for this. It's really, really large, and it's 40 Oh, and if you've never done this before, if you're interested in something, please message Gray's at it, because I will lose the uh, comments, because really the comments come out weird, unless you've ever done a live feed, you don't know what I'm talking about, but they do not come out in order. Sometimes they... Don't even show up at all. So if you're interested in something, message Grace at it. I will take pictures if I need to, and that's where I will look first. So, uh, great for hot cider. Yeah, if you like hot cider, it's great for hot cider. If you like Dot Pepsi, <laughs> it's great for Dot Pepsi too. Because I could drink a whole one of those. I have caught myself and drank a whole 12 pack of Dot Pepsi in one day. And especially working from home right now, I've just about done that probably this week. I'm not going to say whether I did or not, but a 12-pack in the day, that, that was a lot. 
Okay, these little things, these are a dollar each, and they're, they're so cute, but they're little handmade flowers. So, I mean, it is what it is. They're just really cute. They're little wire flowers, and they've got all this little twine and stuff. So, and I've got all of them stuck in this little jar. A dollar for each one of those. Give them to your teachers, whoever you want to give them to. Okay, so I have these. These are super cool. I have got an old trunk and a, hey Dorinda and Mike, I have got an old trunk and the stuff in the trunk was from the early 1900s and I didn't really know what all was in it, but I got to digging things out and first off I had found these little bitty kids shoes. They're $30. They are from the early 1900s. Like, they probably, they were wore very, very little. You can see where the toe is just wore off. They wouldn't have got to wear them every day. Probably the church, that was it. They didn't wear them to school. They didn't wear them during the day. Um, probably to church or a funeral, and maybe that was it. Probably not even a funeral. But these little bitty, and they do still have the buttons on them. And they're 30 for these. And then, something else. There's a few things that come out of that trunk. So these little shorts, these are 30. Um, people have probably seen me post the picture. It says, for my darling to wear to his first ball game, Aunt Anna. And, I mean, they were still folded with the little creases down them. I haven't even opened them up, but I just could picture a little boy wearing these with those little shoes and little knee-high socks. It would be so super cute. So, and they're 30 bucks for these. Also, early 1900 shorts. And then I found this. I don't know. I'm assuming it is a ticket of some sort. It says football, Bartlett versus Millington, Friday, October the 8th, 1937. It's $10 for this, uh, I guess, ticket. And you see where they probably had it uh, glued to something. And then there it is. And it does have some writing on it. it I can't read it if it says band something. I don't know. And then it has a name, Jan. I don't know, but there it is, it's a cool little piece of history, especially if you're from that area, uh, era, or area, I said that right the first time, if you're from that area, that would be a cool piece to have. Then I found these little, and these are from the 30s also, these little kids, celluloid, I believe that's the name of them, brush and comb, it has this little bitty pink flower on, and then right there. The, kind of, the brush is kind of wonky, but, it, you know, if I was from the 30s, I would be wonky, too. I am not that old, and I'm still wonky, but they're really cool, and they're $15 for that set. Then I have a little bitty I put I had this on, probably back during the summer, I did a live feed, and somebody wanted this, but then never come back, come in the shop and picked it up, so we're doing it again. So this little, it's not a little Tonka truck, it's just a little nylon, but it's still a cute little truck, it's 20 bucks, lift up, at Christmas time it'd be cute to put a little Christmas tree on the top of it, tie it to it, and put some little bitty fake presents in it. So there you go, 20 bucks for that. And then I found this. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> so, it's, I mean, it's just probably for some flowers and stuff. But, I got to looking on it, and you, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that campfire on it? Isn't that cool? So, what I did is I just put these flowers in it, and then I got some sticks and put some little bitty marshmallows on it. Of course, they're dried up now. Just for, I had it during the market, just for staging purposes. And I just put these little marshmallows on like a s'more thing with a little campfire. How cute is that? Six bucks for this. 
and you can have the dry, hard marshmallow. Of course, if your sugar falls, you'll eat them. I promise you, you'll eat them because um, I know these things. <laughs> I know these things. Um, I know that sounds disgusting, but if your sugar drops, you will eat them. And then I also had this one time, and Lady was going to get it, and then she never did come back in, so here it is again. It's just a little enamel pot dish. I don't know, but, you know, it's got the, every one of them has these little chip spots on it. But it's this avocado green with this black trim around it. I just think it's cute as heck, and you could use it for just about anything. It's eight bucks for this little, this little dish. Then I have, this is an Illinois Herb Company Healthway Products 1942 Almanac. It's $10. And um, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. All kinds of uh, UCA ointment pain relief. Satisfied users of herb, I don't know, herb laxative. But it's got a really cool graphics on the front of it. And uh, I got another one in the shop, but it was kind of bent up a lot, and so I didn't bring it. But 10 bucks for this one. 1942 Almanac. So it's part of history. And then this is 10 also, and it's from 1972. Ooh, that's my year I was born, Vintage 72. But it is a receipt book, and it does have some writing on it, but there are plenty, plenty of blank pages. And it's stamped Square Deal Furniture Company, Harrisburg, Arkansas. And it says Davis Guff Service. So some guys who collect, see those Guff stamps? Some guys collect stuff like that. Exxon, Texaco, Gulf, Shell, all that stuff. Um, they like, you know, stuff with that. So it's a Davis Gulf Service with the Gulf stamp. And then down here it says Square Deal Furniture Company. And it's from... 1972. Ten bucks for this little receipt book. Okay, let's get the junk behind me because it's overtaking my house and I'm sick and tired of it and I'm sick of going through boxes. I still have uh, one, two, probably two more boxes to go through and two more truckloads to get and I'll be done with that stuff uh, that I bought out. As most of you know, I bought out a room, just one room in a house in Jonesboro and um, I've been going through that stuff for probably a week or longer now and then I just bought some furniture from Fort City today and uh, I'll be picking that up. So the other day I showed I, the mate to this. It was a big wooden rooster and then I found this one in another box today and so this is the chicken and it's also wooden and 15 bucks for this and it's kind of that folk art look. I don't know if it's more of the farmhouse. It's more of the folk art. And the rooster is more of folk art. It has some designs on it and stuff. But they're still cool. And you can separate them. You don't have to keep them together. $15. And let me see. Oh, I got quite a few of these. I love old uh, trophies. I just love them. They're so much cooler than the trophies you get now. This is a bowling trophy. It says guys and dolls. 63, 64, high game, Cappy. I don't know what that means, but they're 10 bucks, and I have quite a few more in the shop, and I have some little ones in the shop too. So 10 bucks for this. And, um, oh, I thought he was missing a hand, but I just can't see. No, his hand's on there. So if you're a bowler or just a collector of stuff, you don't have to be a bowler, you can be a collector of stuff. And uh, you need that. You need that. You're probably the only one who has one. Okay, this amber jar says made in Spain. I, said, I thought it was amber, but now I hold it up to the light. It's kind of got a purplish tint to it. It's got the, st the cork in it. It is not old. I'll just let you know that. Um, because this color is coming off. I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably now. So the color is coming off. It's on the outside of it. You can take some fingernail polish remover and you can, okay, you can take the fingernail polish remover and get that off totally and have a clear jar. You can spray paint them 
you can put some paint down in it and slosh, slosh it around and like marbleize it. There are, I can think of all kinds of weird stuff to do. But eight bucks for this little jar. And let me see. Okay, this. Oh, where's it? All right. I had this at our lake house, but uh, I'm not putting it back up. We had a fire up there. I had to do, redo everything. It's all in vintage camping now. So this was going to the yard sale pile, and I seen it laying here a while ago, so I just stuck it in this pile. And it just needs, this little plastic thing needs to be ripped off or shoved back in. And it's just a Ducks Unlimited. The... One Million Acre Club, Ducks Unlimited, Big Grass, Marsh Duck Factory. Three bucks. I mean, three bucks. It's a good deal, people. For three bucks, um, you could take it and stick it in your carport or something. Let's see. What else do I have? Oh, so I have these. These are, I'm just going to tell you now. They're eight for the set, and they are funky little pears. So this one is this green with a design on it. This one is this orange, and it's got like another orange design on it. Can you see that? And then this is a yellow with a little green design on it. They do have some little, see that white right there where that color's chipped off? So my stuff, I have some brand new stuff. I do have brand new stuff that still has tags on it. But a lot of my stuff is, a lot of it I have found in old homes or old barns. So it's not brand new. So, you know, it's been around the block or two. Um, it's been in a couple of fights and probably been in a couple of divorces. And so there are scratches and nicks and stuff. So if you want something brand spanking new, um, Jones Rules, 20 minutes down the road. They've got a mall, and you can get all kinds of stuff there. But if you want something that with character and history and a little bit of the story, then I've got you covered there. These are eight bucks for the set. If you don't want all three of them, just let me know. I don't have to sell them as a set, but what are you going to do with one? I mean, my gosh. They all go together. What are you going to do with one? They look weird. They weird. This... So when I went and got all this stuff, every single piece I got, it seemed like, had all this junk in it. All this, like, fall chips and smell good stuff. That does smell good. At least it, at least it does smell good. Um, and I've been just dumping it out in a box. I didn't dump this out, but this has a, a glass canister, and then it has this burlap around it, and it has... The bee, I'm not too sure what those are. I, I one time called them a honeycomb. It's not a honeycomb. I don't know what that thing is called. You bee people would know. But it's kind of got a French label on it. And um, I had the price. Oh, 20 bucks for this. This would be really pretty with a lavender plant in there or an asparagus fern. You could put all kinds of stuff in there. 20 bucks for that. And I'm gonna, I will dump the fall stuff out, so you don't have to have that. Then I got another chicken. Like, I've got chickens running everywhere. Like, they're everywhere. I'm not a, pretty much of a chicken person. Like, I'd rather have, like, real live chickens out in the yard than in my house because my house is more mid-century funky. But, um, gosh, dang it. I got a whole bunch of chickens out of this house in Jonesboro. And so they'll be at the shop. Or they'll be over at the cat's meow. Uh, this is 10 bucks for this chicken. It's a ceramic chicken and it has little metal legs. And it just has the, and I keep saying chicken. I guess it's a rooster. I'm sorry, it's a rooster. But it has these little chips, so it's made to look rustic. And then it has that crackle finish on it. Can you see that? I love, love the crackle finish. 10 bucks for that little rooster. Okay, I'm just going to put it back up here. I'm getting to where I can't even move it around. Then this little bird, that was another one of uh, what I, the place I bought out of. The other thing was birds. So I like birds. Birds, chickens, uh, rabbits, 
just about anything. Just about anything. Six bucks for this little. It's a little concrete um, bard on this little spring. So I guess you just hang it up in your tree. You can hang it on your front porch. You can hang it up in your sunroom. Six bucks. And it's got like little, uh, kind of looks distressed and stuff to make it look old. It's not actually old. Oh, then this, um, if you've watched my page, I have uh, posted a lot of chicken plates and stuff. Now, this does not go. I did think those chicken plates were black, white with the black, but that it's not. It's a deep navy blue. So, this is actually black. So, and I have not found any more plates, but like I said, I got two more truckloads of stuff. So, that it might have a set in there. But this little butter dish. See that? With the little chicken on top. Ten bucks for this little butter dish. Isn't it cute? And if I if I do find where I have a set, then I'll pull it and we'll do something different. We'll sell it as a set. And I have some glass frogs. I think these are the last three I have left in the shop. So I have this large glass one, and it's 10, and then I have, <laughs> so my daughter just come in, my partner, partner, she's a solid, she's a very solid, she's a very solid and a very, I don't do nothing partner, <laughs> she come and steal one of my about Pepsi's, and she got my last one, y'all gonna see it. Y'all go see a fight right here on live TV or live <laughs> Facebook because I will fight you over my last five minutes. And so these, I'll get back on the subject. These are five a piece. That makes me think. I gotta take a drink of my soda. Okay. I didn't steal them. I just got them out of your car. <laughs> Okay, more stuff with more of the fall stuff in there. I just left it in there. Still smells good. Mm. Um, but this is 15, and I can dump that stuff out. It's, ooh, you heard. it's white crystal, and it's handmade in Italy. But, can, hold up, hold up. I just dumped it out. Isn't that cool? It makes me think of a jellyfish. I don't know. Those colors are beautiful. $15 for that. It's got that mid-century look. And it had fall stuff in it. And then I've got these. Uh, of course, everybody local can, have, can recognize this. This is old. Say she's leaving me instead of sitting here helping. She's leaving. So these are ten a piece, or this one is ten. It's the Bank of Harrisburg, and probably from seventies, I would think. And then this one is kind of harder to see. This is Mark Tree Bank. Let me see if this. Yeah, it does work. And it's five dollars, but well, you can see it now with the glare on it. But uh. That is really dingy and it's hard to see. So, 10 bucks for the Harrisburg, 5 bucks for the Mark Tree. Then this little doohickey, this is, um, <laughs> it's just a little metal bird with a little spring and a marble in it. And it's kind of like maybe a sun catcher, so you can put it outside in your tree, on your sun porch. Uh, but it's not a wind chime. It doesn't make a noise. It's just for looks, I suppose. Five bucks for this. It is cute, though. Uh, another chicken. I do, have, I do have another one of these. I already took to the shop. Um, these, I do like this one just because it's funky. And uh, it, just, it looks like blown glass. I'm guessing that's what that is, but I really love the colors of that. It's 10 bucks, and I have, 
the other one at the shop, and I believe it's uh, clear with white and red. I'm not for sure. But 10 bucks for this little blown glass. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Super cool. Funky color. And that's what I like. Let me see what else I have. Oh, got this. So this is a little thermometer. It says Carlos Bowen TV Service, Waldenburg, Arkansas. And doesn't have a date, but it's got a phone number on it. So you want a phone number, I can give you a phone number. You can call him and see if he still repairs TVs. <laughs> Probably not. But anyways, it's 10 bucks for this little, it's a little thermometer. But... You know, a lot of people like to keep these, especially if they're from this area, just because of the advertisement piece on it and stuff. And then I have this. I used to know the name of it. It was Circle of Friendship or something like that. But um, you can put a little votive in there. You can put you some little fall decorative stuff in there. It's five bucks. And I was looking, I don't think there's any chips or anything. I know normally I tell you if there's chips and stuff, but I kind of forgot that tonight. Because my daughter came in and got me off. Still in my diet Pepsi. Five bucks for that little circle of friendship. And I have these. Um, these are not candles. I have seen these before and they're candles. These are just decor. So, it's got this large pine cone. And this large pine cone, and then this small pine cone. Um, and I guess you just set it on your, set it up, and make a fall arrangement. It, this does have one of the little things. <laughs> what are those called? It's broke off, but you can take some black or some really dark, dark brown paint and go over that. But, you know, it's one in a hundred. Nobody's going to say that one. And they are 15 for the set of three. And they're pretty large. I mean, you can see that's... So, oh, I about dropped that one. Those are pretty big. They're really cute in fall arrangements. Like to sit around with your fall stuff. And this big cabinet here. I've had stuff sitting around with some leaves and some pine cones. And some limbs. And I've had those pine cones uh, sitting up. And it looks really cute. So I've got this brass hook. You see that? I am a collector of hooks, so uh, I'm, I don't know why I'm selling this. <laughs> I guess because, hey Kay, I guess because you don't need a whole bunch of hooks. But I do collect hooks. I don't know why. I think more so I think I'm going to use them, and then I never do. But this hook is 10 bucks. Pretty good size brass hook. You have... Uh, these, uh, these are not old, they're just made to look old, and they're just, they're 10 a piece, let me go ahead and tell you that, and they're just made to look old, they're little soap dishes, so this one has a little back on it, and then this one does not, but they're still 10 a piece, but they are cute, even though they're not old, they're cute, you can take some white paint, you could dry brush them, you spray paint them gold. You kind of make them your own. And then I have this magnifier. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just a magnifier. And it's probably not to be used. It's probably just for looks to sit around and display. Like it would be really cool if you had some lawyer books and stacked up some old lawyer books. And some old photographs and had this on there. Um, old cigar boxes, stuff like that. 10 bucks for this, or, oh golly, that made me look huge. I don't need anything to make me look any bigger than I already am. Um, but it's cool. 10 bucks. So I've got this. I think I might have a couple of these in the shop. He is missing an ear, but if I was as old as this, uh, I would probably be missing an ear too. So this came out of the old, old drugstore that was in Harrisburg, and um, these are probably, I looked them up, I, I can't, I can't remember, maybe from the 40s, but um, 10 bucks, just because he's missing ear, but it's an old rattle. There you go.
cool piece, cool piece of history. I have this. It again is full of smell good fall stuff. One thing about it, that person I bought from loved the smell good fall stuff, and she put it in every single thing she had. But so pretty. I love the color on it. It's just a little, um, I don't know, ceramic. You could have, use it as a vase. You could use it as a planner. But it has that paisley design on it. And like I said, they stuffed it with fall. Smell good stuff. Cinnamon sticks. Stuff like that. It's 20 bucks for this. It's a pretty good size one. Okay. So the guy stuff that I have. Let me get to the guy stuff. Because I don't want to lose y'all. Um, so I've got these gas tanks. And I've got a couple of them. They're 10 a piece. But if you have a plasma cutter and you cut these old gas tanks and stuff, like cut them and make a, um, a pumpkin face out of them, so stinking cute. So cute. And I've gone to a show up at Northwest Arkansas and a vendor has these. I mean, really all kinds of tin cans. They cut them into um, pumpkins and spook faces and stuff like that. And they sell them for like 45 and 50 bucks. They're so cool. I wish I had one, but I would probably blow myself up. But 10 bucks for this. It does have something right there. What's that say? Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> I think that's what it says. Then I have this. This, I don't know what it's for. It's cool, but I'm selling the whole thing. I'm not going to sell it like pizza. Let me just get it picked up. So it's 40 bucks. And I have no idea how it came apart. So see this chain? So there's one section of it. There is another section of it. And there's a link. And see, it hasn't been cut. So I don't have any idea how it came apart. And then there's another section of it. So it's 40 bucks for this whole thing and um i know y'all guys think us girls are weird but um some of the bloggers will get like these little wooden link chain and like kind of just drape them over a little uh basket or a little tray or something like that i don't know if you would want to put this over a tray but guys if you're a diyer and you make stuff, there's some cool pieces right there to make whatever you want to make. <laughs> Dale, hey, I hope you made it back to Arizona safely. I enjoyed meeting you and your son. Well, I'm trying to pick this up. So this is, let me find my thing. Okay. So this is just a grill off of a cooler. Sears Roebuck and Company Hallmark cooler. I don't know what type of cooler, but 10, oh, 15 bucks. See that? And all this other stuff, like I was showing you the chickens and stuff, it's cool. But I love, love, love Rusty Jump. Do I have something on my face? I thought I had some rust on my face. That trips me out. So I love rusty junk, and I'm thinking this mounted to some barn wood, and then on that barn wood, you could do you some Edison bulbs like that, and then have this. Wouldn't that look awesome? Oh, my battery's going down. So 15 bucks for that, and then I'll show you these other three pieces, and then my battery's going dead. I got some more junk I might take pictures of and post later. But, so guys, if you do make stuff, if you're a welder and you make stuff and make uh, lamps and whatever. So I've got some pulleys and they're rusty, crusty, and super cool. Like again, I love rusty stuff. So 15 bucks for this pulley. And then this one, oh my gosh. This one is 30 bucks. 
get a look now because I'm not holding it up long. So this one is 30 bucks. Play the whip. And then this other one is 40 bucks. And I'm definitely not holding it up long. Like I don't even know if I can get it up. <laughs> and I got one heavier than this. I think it still has the pulley on it. So this one is 40. She's Louise. Okay. See that? See it? 40 bucks. It is super big, super heavy, and super cool. So, I've got a couple of other things. I'll probably take pictures and post later. If you're interested in anything, please let me know. I will not be in the shop Saturday, as far as I know. Have a football game, but as soon as that football game's over with, I'll post. If it's early enough, I'll go to the shop. So, just be watching if you do want to come and shop and then um i will not be in the shop at all next weekend i have a show at Grish ferry so um if you're interested in something i can meet you during the week i work a real job so that's why i'm not at the shop but i can always meet you be sure and share our video because there's a lot of people that still don't even know we exist some of you are right here in harrisburg that don't know we exist but we do we've been there for six years and uh, we're trying to, we're talking about expanding as far as branching out and going to different places so that people can get my stuff rather than just on Saturday. And we're possibly going to start opening up on Fridays also and see how that works. And then um, the first of the year we got some other plans, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. So uh, pray for our country. Pray for, just pray for our country and everybody in it. And... Um, all the negative stuff, stupid, there, the devil has enough, enough negativity, he doesn't need us to help him, so quit that mess, be kind to each other, be forgiving, you don't have to compromise your beliefs, but just be kind, I don't agree with a lot of things, I don't agree with my husband, number one, about 90% of the time, or probably less than that, um, but... <laughs> In that life, in that life, and so, and we still don't kill each other. So, um, we'll see you guys. Have a good weekend, and pray to goodness that our little old sweet baby boys win their football game Saturday. We'll see y'all and happy chucking. <laughs>